When Martin Luther King Jr. was born 93 years ago, his given name was Michael King. The name change can be traced to his father. It's quite a story. In 1934, Reverend Michael King Sr. made a trip to Berlin that would change his life. According to the Martin Luther King Jr. Institute at Stanford University, the visit to the homeland of Martin Luther, the founder of Protestantism, deeply affected King's father. When he returned home, he changed his name from Michael to Martin Luther King. And his son became Martin Luther King Jr. Now you know the rest of that story. Yes, we do. It was Amazing. really interesting to learn that today. Truly. And now a new generation is hearing Dr. King's message, and they're taking action to try to heal the racial divide. CBS 2's Jennifer McLogan reports from Long Island. Children of today absorbing life lessons of an icon, Reverend Martin Luther King Jr. trailblazed through Long Island 60 years ago. Young junior ROTC volunteers in Hempstead say they are continuing his mission. It's still me memorable to this day that he told his mother that, that he's going to change his world upside down. The whirlwinds of revolt, said Dr. King, will shake our nation's foundation until the bright day of justice emerges. Martin Luther King was an activist who brought happiness to everyone. School children here studying the March on Washington to end racial division. I want to try to uh, help the world by not treating others by their skin. At Long Island Children's Museum, the focus for families on this holiday, empowering the young to dream big, tear down walls, build bridges. And we're commemorating a very special man who wanted to change the world. All Americans to have rights, would have freedom to vote, and there would be no segregation. The Reverend Dr. King wrote, Injustice anywhere is a threat to justice everywhere. How much we still have to do and how little we can afford to be divided. Being kind, just a little act, makes the world a better place. Our children are teaching us that through the legacy of Martin Luther King Jr., the American dream, dim for so many, deserves to be bright and fair for all. On Long Island, Jennifer McLogan, CBS 2 News. And children attending these workshops were pledging to continue Dr. King's fight for equality and justice. You can learn a thing or two from all of them. Yes, we can. Right. Good refresher course, at least. That's going to do it for us here at 5 Today. Thanks for watching. I'm Christine Johnson. I'm Maurice Dubois. News at 6 starts right now.